Just two years ago, as I said, we were in the same building in a very, very competitive race. And we overcame great odds in that election, and tonight we made history. I do believe that we will continue to do that going into the November general election, and hopefully this city will elect its first two-term mayor in recent history. And together, we will continue to bring consistent leadership. We're going to make Charlotte an equitable place for all, a place where people can both work and live, a place that our children will have bright futures. And I want to always understand that we have people in our lives that are very, very important. My children, Kwame, and Aisha, who is in Maryland right now, I hope watching this on live streaming. My beautiful daughter-in-law, Ashley, mother of Aria and Maya, and Jeffrey, who's married to Aisha, who has Haley. And I tell you, whenever I start thinking that this is a tough job, I think about them. Because if we can make the future right for them, we can make the future right for every child in this county, in this city. I want to thank my brother, my niece, my cousins, I mean my friends of 40 years because I know that I am standing here today the person that I am because of our friendships, our relationships, and my parents. So thank you. Nobody does anything by themselves, whether you're serving as mayor or if you're campaigning. And there is a tremendous team effort behind this. And I know you know that because I call people that I ask to do things that I probably never even thought about. So each of you know who you are. I dare not start a list, but just so thank you because you know who you are and how you back me. I'm really grateful that I have the faith that was instilled in me as a young woman, as a child, because I think that that faith and belief that there's something bigger and stronger than who we are today helps carry you a long way. And so for that, I want to say, each of you know that it has great meaning for me to be able to serve this city. And that meaning comes from the work ethic and the dedication to the people of this community, but also to not see everybody as just a group, but to try to see people individually for who they are. With all of that said, now we still have a race in November. We still have another few weeks to go. And we need to continue to talk about what makes Charlotte great and what we want for this city. And we need to turn out our voters again this fall. So I hope when you leave tonight, you make a commitment to help move Charlotte forward, continuing to volunteer and contribute as we go into this general election as a Democratic nominee. So I want to end with a, a paraphrase of Senator Margaret Chase Smith. It's basically a quote that I look at and I think about. But I've tailored it to the way I am. So if you'll just give me a minute. My belief is that service must be more than doing a job efficiently and honestly. It is a complete dedication to the people and to our city that every resident is entitled to live in a safe neighborhood, have a decent job, and adequate transportation, and that every resident of our community ought to be treated with dignity and respect. And that we really seek constructive criticism. We expect constructive criticism. But we also seek to hold each other with honor and dignity. And I am really proud tonight that I've earned that dignity and honor from the voters of Charlotte. I want to continue to earn that honor by being your mayor, elected in November as a Democratic candidate. Let's go out and win this the next time. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Now, I'm going to take a couple of questions from the media, and then I think that someone's going to want to cut a cake, and I think her name is Aria Alexander. 
So we're going to go ahead and cut some cake for this night and remember it. Thank you all so much for being here. <laughs>